When I'm riding the bus and I don't have anything better to do, I frequently look at my fellow passengers and try to make some sort of guess as to what sort of people they are. My conscious mind is acutely aware that I know nothing about these people, so my ideas are probably way off, but my unconscious mind doesn't really give a shit and gets judgmental as a way to pass the time. For instance, if I see a person that looks like this, I would guess that he fancies himself a rebel against normal society, although I doubt he understands the irony of purchasing one symbols of rebellion in a shopping mall. If I see a person that looks like this, I would guess that he is someone who has lived his life following the rules and doing everything right, and he hoped that this would make everything work out well for him, but he is beginning to realize that it didn't. The guy I'm sitting next to, I think, hates me, hates the woman on his left as well, hates the bus driver, hates the bus, hates dogs, cats, birds, McDonald's, and Burger King, and just wants to go home. I hope, at least, that he likes it there. This guy, I'm guessing, thinks he's too good for the bus and is looking forward to when he somehow becomes a millionaire and will be able to take his private plane instead. This woman loves books and wears this fact on her sleeve, or at least on her bag. This makes me guess that it's important to her that people know that she's an intellectual, though I also kind of wonder if she believes that this will act as a deterrent to people who are thinking of approaching her by saying something stupid. I was trying to get a handle on this guy here, but he noticed that I was looking at him and he made a face at me. I have no conclusion to make, except that he's likely kind of a wise ass. This woman just looks like your average, everyday person who has worked very hard and taken a lot of shit, and has a hell of a lot less to show for it than she should have. This person, I think, is well aware that the peace, the free love, sex, music, acceptance, and global harmony did not work out, but still believes that whatever remains of the hippie ideal is still very much alive. The way this woman is looking at me makes me think that she's even more judgmental than I am. This guy has an air about him like he thinks that he's so good looking that girls will swoon all over him. He may be right. This girl has an air about her like she thinks she's so good looking men will swoon all over her. She may be right, but she's not really my type. This guy for some reason looks really paranoid. About what I don't know, but in the interest of mercy, I shan't stare at him any longer trying to figure it out. This lady looks tired. I have nothing further to add. This guy appears to get very frustrated and annoyed at every stop and delay that the bus makes. I'm guessing that he is either in a hurry or has a blanket dissatisfaction with life in general. This guy looks really gloomy and dour and I'm guessing he's no fun to be around and he spends his time reading depressing poetry while drinking espresso in cafes while complaining how bad the world is. I find this particularly disturbing because I'm 99% sure that that's exactly what everyone thinks when they look at me as well. How do you do? This is Lev. I put up a new episode of Tales of Mere Existence every two weeks, so please subscribe to this channel. These two here are a couple of recent episodes that I'm rather happy with. Click and have a look. Tales is funded in part by viewers like you. You can make a pledge at my Patreon page here. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.